All right, y'all. So, um, hold on. Let me keep this car on, girl, because it's already summertime up in Phoenix. At least I'm going to roll down the windows. It is Tuesday. I just got back from... Really? I just got back from the dealership. Um, you guys, with a new car, you get stuff for free. For like, well, my vehicle, I got it for free. Everything's free for the first two years um, under the warranty. And so I got one more thing to do in the summertime before I have to start paying for it because the car is two years old at this point. Anyway, kind of, sort of. So I'm up here at the Dollar Tree because I'm going to get ready to go inside because, y'all, I'm corny. I am one of those people that schedule spring cleaning. I've been doing this for years and it just helps me because we have a fairly large house with just three of us and there are certain areas that I don't go in. Yes, I clean it, but there are certain areas that do get neglected because I'm like, I ain't got, I ain't got time for that. Yes, I'm at home, but I'm tired, y'all. I do stuff. I'm not just sitting at home, you know, looking at the at the, at the the ceiling, you know. It's a busy, we're fairly busy, so. Yesterday, I um, cleaned the counter, yeah, yesterday I cleaned the countertops, but then today I'm going to um, sanitize the entire countertops and I'm also going to clean the, um, what is it, all the cupboards and stuff like that. So yeah, I've scheduled, not every day, but at least five days out of the week to do something major in the house. So I'm here at the dollar store to get a couple more cleaning objects and some other stuff that I want to get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about getting um, and I'm also taking JB supplemental homeschooling very serious so at least every two weeks I'm buying something up here to help with his homeschooling he is doing really well you guys very well that little book I saw him read those are Bob's book I know some of you are familiar with those books um, he knows how to read that book by himself now I mean it only took two weeks for him to really grasp that he does his little chubby finger oh so cute he goes across and he reads I don't even help him you know I let him you know try to say it so I don't want to just focus on you know reading English and all that literature I also want to incorporate other things so um this well last month we started um looking into uh let me let them drive off because they clearly they decided to drive their uh f-350 to the Dollar Tree today I just have to go ahead and crank up my car and just, you know. Cause y'all, it's hot. It's 78 degrees right now. I mean, it's not hot, but it's warming up. They were driving off now, girl. They four by four, whatever the hell this is. Anyway, so, um, what was I talking about? Oh, so yeah, last month we started talking about the earth and I let him know that we on planet earth, that we live in Phoenix. He knows we live in Arizona. Um, and just, you know, letting him know how things are. Yeah, I think that as a, as a parent, it is our responsibility to teach our children. And ultimately it's our, our, our responsibility to help our children to be successful, productive I should say you don't necessarily be successful but productive adults be resourceful so this is why I've taught JB how to get out of the house how I've taught JB how to dial 911 he, he's known how to do that from the age of four he knows how to unlock my phone these are things that I you know and I have a list so I'm gonna go ahead and create I have a mental list of things I want to teach him as he gets older how to sew on a button or how to mend his clothes you know how many people my age don't even know how to hell how to even thread a needle yeah so anyway let's start off basic so anyway um yeah we discuss you know uh the earth and the universe and all this stuff and so this month we're going to be showing going through excuse me a plant cycle um but it's more than just that because i can put a worksheet of a plant cycle in front of him but it helps if we go to Lowe's and he sees different plants okay and this is what a cactus looks like this is a tomato plant this is a leaf this is a branch I love this age because they're so willing to learn and to him going to Lowe's you know at five years old that's exciting you know so um and with the uh discussing space we do have a um space shuttle challenger it's got a space Sh shuttle challenger museum out here so i was supposed to have done it last month but this month we will go to the space shuttle and i'll take y'all with me to see how that is so yeah you know try to be a little bit more hands-on with the things that i'm teaching him so that it will stick okay like i said that's going to help more than worksheets but let me go in here and get some stuff um there was something else i want to tell y'all about speaking of did i tell you about my hair i think i did so yes that's coming up i did get my hair products in look i was so happy um 
for a second this morning. I thought I had found my wooden comb and I didn't. So I do have that Felicia Leatherwood comb. I know a couple of you were like, well, that you thought it was sold out. It's sold out on Amazon. I don't know what, I don't know why because she clearly has, um, she clearly has products on her on her website so that's why i got the the brush from because yes i've had this sitting in my cart waiting there and it keeps saying it's it's been months and it's saying it's sold out so i don't know if she hasn't updated her quantity through amazon or what but you need to go through her website to order it and it was some money it was 19 dollars including shipping which is why i was trying to get it through amazon so i could get that free shipping over this certain dollar amount so anyway what's the point I will be doing my wash day this week, so I completely forgot I had one more LK Naturals product to do. And quite frankly, you guys, I was a little bummed out on her line. I mean, out of all the products I've tried so far, it's been a hit or miss. So I have tried her lemongrass before, but it's not something that, and it's, it's a great product, but it's not something that was like, oh wow, I have to go out and get that lemongrass. Uh, spray because for me personally, I prefer Jane Carter's leave-in spray. That spray is. I'm, I'm I'm a bit frustrated. Hold on, y'all. Let me show you what I got from the store. Hold on. I need to calm the hell down. I have literally spent. This is the thing about my job. Um, why is it so dark in here? Just just a second, y'all. I'm all over the place because I've literally spent freaking nearly an hour putting out a fire in my job. I got my workout clothes on, clearly haven't gone to the gym. I received a letter from my doctor's office that was basically like, oh, the person you see no longer accepts your insurance. And I'm like, what? I, I like her. You know, I have a repertoire with her. You know, we cool. She gives me the inside tea on what's going on in a doctor's office too. <laughs> And so I called I called today because I'm like, look, I, I need some I need some more Xanax. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm on a daily anxiety pill that I really can't tell if the shit is working or not. But Xanax is what you get when you really need something. And I'm on a very low dosage. I'm not on and I literally I can tell you right now, this will let you know how how limited I want. I want what's the word? That is not something that I eat all the time. I've only needed three refills in nearly two years. Yeah, girl. So, so anyway, sorry, y'all. Um, called the doctor's office and was like, I need to make an appointment. I I'll come in tomorrow. I don't care. I'll come in. They're like, okay, cool. We'll put you in the morning. Get home. I'm like, okay, what can I do, y'all? I'm always the type of person. I do not like to waste time. I'm always up running around. The only time I am sitting down on the couch laying down is after five o'clock. I kid you not, I am on my feet most of the time. It's just, it's just how I am, especially since I've had a child. So anyway, um, I get home, I look around, I'm like, okay, what can I do real quick to clean up? So I clean up, I straighten up, I mop the floors, um, I wipe down the um, the cabinets because that's part of my spring cleaning for today. So I did all of that, wiped it down real quick, and I check my work email. Work's going good. I catch up on a bunch of stuff. Then I get a red flag email, red explanation point. Vivian, um, the people can't find the materials for this class. I'm like, there's no materials for this class. Ten minutes go by. She sends me a long ass email basically saying looks like you dropped the ball you know in a very passive aggressive way and i'm not going to get into the de details because like i said before you never know who watches your videos the thing about my job you guys i manage our course content and i create training sessions for our clients i'm, I'm now i'm doing internal because people Ain't doing that right, so I'm doing internal classes too. So I have a lot of classes that I set up between 20 and 30 a month. But then Sister Woman manages close to 500 courses in the system. That's a lot for one person. So their class, long, long story short, I'm up here having anxiety for something that really at the end of the day wasn't even my fault. So I save everything. I'm gonna save everything. And this is, I like to use things as a learning lesson. Now I could sit up here, cause I even, I even sent her an I am and she she avoided me this is how I know you passive aggressive I'm like okay do you have a minute to speak I sent her a message no comment she she locked off girl at the at the five minutes of seeing that she locked up okay girl. Well, well we have a team meeting tomorrow so I'm gonna bring this up this is a great learning experience for the entire team to say look this is what happened 
this is what doesn't need to happen in the future, and this is what we can do to avoid pissing Vivian off. So let me show y'all what I got. I got a clipboard for, this is homeschooling stuff. I mostly got homeschooling stuff. All right, so I got some pine saw, some toilet bowl clean, cleaner. I got some Brillo, um, Gloves, you guys. I typically be, I'm really, really good about wearing gloves because I do have acrylic nails, baby. Every time I go um, to the, um, not every time, but the nail technicians have commented, Tina and Tom, on how great my nail looks and my nail bed looks because I'm like, yeah, I, I wear gloves when I'm cleaning, girl. I'm not trying to have bleach nails. I got some glue sticks because I'm still making JB. This is how I make JB's craft stuff, you guys. I keep glue sticks on hand because I'm a crafty helpful. Um, so, let me, let me show you the other school stuff real quick. So, as I mentioned earlier, maybe I didn't, I don't remember, one of the activities we're going to be doing this month as far as homeschooling is plant cycles. So, I decided why not purchase actual plants let's grow some so i have i don't know if this stuff is going to plant i bought some soil did y'all know they sell soil at dollar tree i got some soil i got some seeds here we have some house plant these fertilizer spikes and i have two buckets okay so that's an activity we can do another cleaning supply this is just for dusting um this is to catch the water under the household plants and some Brillo pads, um, other homeschooling stuff. I got glue sticks. I have some money cards, rubber, band, rubber bands. Yeah, so um, I'm very proud of JB. I told him he, he's so sweet, y'all. This age, I call it the sweet and sour age. One minute it's sour as hell, acting crazy. And the next minute he's so sweet. Last night he looked at me. He said, are, are, you, are you proud of me? I said, absolutely, baby. I am so proud of you. And daddy is too. And so I, I you know, nudged my husband. I said, tell me. I said, he said, of course we are. Why wouldn't we be proud of you? So I think he just needed reassurance. JB is like that. You know, he, now he knows how to read his book by himself. I'm, y'all about to cry. I need to stop. I think it was that wine. <laughs> um, and he looks up at me. You know, he'll read one, he'll look up. And I'm like, that's really good, Jamie. So it's, you gotta do that to your kids. You gotta pour into your kids at a young age. So, because as they get older, and we know this, and I know y'all, some of y'all got grandkids, hell. As they get older, there's gonna be so many people trying to take away from them and get at them. So as long as you are continuously pouring in, I'm learning, they'll be all right. So let me go pick up this child. Shout out to Rhonda, AKA Miss Delightful. Honey, I had to watch your video twice, y'all. She has it. I'm gonna link on, well, maybe I won't, but I'll, <laughs> I'll let y'all know. I'll link her channel below um, so you can check out her video. And the video is titled, I think it's like uh, YouTube shooting and people flexing on social media and all that. Girl, I was, everything that you said, I completely agree with you to the point that I was like, she is preaching. I, I may need to see her saying, her my tithing money, girl. So she basically was saying how you have people who have families, husband, wives, kids, etc., and they're always on YouTube. Social media in general, in my opinion. But YouTube is different because you're taking the time to put put out your camera, be on cam, upload it. If you edit, if you into editing, editing it, and that takes time, y'all. It takes a lot of time. And girl, I low-key know who you were talking about. We ain't gonna go there, but I have been noticing a lot more YouTubers doing live um videos going live and i'm like what the hell what's going on now some people i can dig i don't mind them going live and i watch them like who was that um shout out to shelly edge hutchinson she went live the other day i tried to catch it but i, I had stuff to do i think i i logged in and i had to log that i did it twice so i don't know if you saw me um but i like shelly so i can dig and I, she's real i know she ain't doing this fronting and stuff you know for youtubers um but you have other people who don't. And to Rhonda's point, and y'all have heard me talk about this before, you have to know where to unplug from social media. Y'all have seen me do it. I'll take a, two months, a month away. Um, I'm about to take another two months here in May due to my surgery, but my ass is not coming back until July because I'm, 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 I need a break. <laughs> 
I need a break. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. You see your gifts, your surprises. And I still have them. Well, it's back again. You getting a little tan, JB. You getting dark for the summertime. So cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, who's... <laughs> it's okay. Mm. Yummy. What's the surprise, though? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was the surprise? Are you hungry, mm. JB? We're not gonna eat that, okay? You can, you can, but JB, you can't eat chocolate all day. I don't really want you having that one. This one is giant. Yes, you're not gonna eat that. You could just open it. Oh, I like eating it. No, eating it. You can open it up though. Oh, I don't. Wow. I'm not a candy. Marshmallow. Ugh. You can taste it if you wanna taste it. Kind of yummy, but kind of sweet. Okay, <laughs> that's enough, Fat Fat. Mm -mm, baby. Let's go. Oh, it is 79 degrees according to my thermostat, but I don't think it's 79 outside. The because temperature's dropping. Temperature's rising. Um, <laughs> speaking of, it's Friday and I'm ready to swing. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. All right, baby. So, it is Friday. I know I may confuse you guys a little bit. Let me pick this up because I can see it's messing up. Um, because I did a quite a bit I'm of, to of make the same video. Okay, baby. I did a quite a bit of filming earlier in this week, and typically I start um, my vlogs on Fridays. But yes, it is Fridays. Have a cup Friday. It is it's Friday. JB. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay. I have a couple of things I have to run. I gotta go to uh, to Staples. I know they're tired of seeing me, y'all. It's just so convenient. It's so horrible. It's so convenient for me, and it oh, half the time they don't charge me because I'm only printing out four or five items. But anyway, going to go go to Staples, then I gotta go. His school sent me an invoice for like six bucks. I'm like, girl, six dollars, seriously? So I gotta go by the school, pay him, pay them. I just gotta run a few errands. I need to mail off my um, registration form for my high school reunion that's in September. Y'all, that's going to be... Oh, y'all, I've made JB an appointment with the stylist uh, for next Friday because his hair is a mess and I just need to get it, get it even up. The only thing I told y'all about, she does a good job. Huh, baby? That's right. It's okay, baby. Hold on, let me get my purse together anyway the only thing i don't like about that shop is that it's more of an adult shop and they be, they were using heavy language so we're our appointment is early like we're getting there at nine o'clock so hopefully those people are not there um we went on a saturday in mid-afternoon can we get a hamster oh no 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 mama's allergic to all that mm -mm. they just opened yeah y'all we're here to get bandy Bandy, a uh, fish. Um, oh God, I don't like the, I don't like the smell of Petco. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, baby, let's just go to the. Yeah, I'm allergic to everything. I'm allergic to dogs, saliva, everything. Oh, this fish is beautiful. Look at that fish. That fish is beautiful. Mm, if Bandy doesn't make it, we can get that. One. I shouldn't say. That. We're going to pray over Bandy every day that he makes it. These are females. They're smaller. Okay, baby, let's look for... Um, the Beta Mira. Well, I'm looking for... Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. This is what we want. Because they... Is this small? Beta Leaf New Lord size. All right, so here are our materials. We went over... We went over it before we came outside, right, JB? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Is this uh
<laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> <sighs> you guys, I'm in my closet. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be wearing for my it's my anniversary next week. I love me some Tony Tony Tony. Um Today was a rough day for JB. It is Saturday, by the way, and I didn't really want to vlog that much, which I'm kinda glad I'm not. YouTube is crazy. Um my cooking video that I uploaded last week is like a few days ago, it released. My my goal is to do a cooking video monthly. So now you have us are probably expecting that. No, let me let you know right now. The cooking videos will not be coming that fast because it takes time and I wanted to include the recipe. And that video just uh, became public and I wanted to only schedule one cooking video a month. So what I'm going to do, because I don't trust YouTube at this point. This is like the third time this has happened to me. Um, I'm just going to start uploading videos when I'm about to release it, like within 24 or 48 hours. Um, it's been a rough week. Today has been a little bit rough for JB. We went to the park and we just randomly met some people from his old school, some women and some of his friends. He was having a hard time. First, he scraped his knee and cried and cried. I've never seen him cry that hard, but I think it was because he was in front of other people and they were looking at him and girl, the dramatics came on. Went to the store, literally left the park and there's, there's a CVS right across the street. Got him a huge ass band-aid, put it on his leg. He walked around and then he took off his shoes and I told him, I told him, I said, you need to put your shoes back on. But he went to be like his little friends running around with no shoes. A few minutes later, he came up crying, something else. He said he stepped on something. I don't know what he stepped on. Like he said, he burnt his foot. And so by the time we got home and I looked at it, sure enough, you know how sometimes, depending on where the burn is at, his foot is a little discolored. And I'm like, oh my God. So I, girl, I wrapped that foot up. So <laughs> I put some um, burn ointment on it and I put some gauze. I wrapped it up in like four feet of tape. And then I put two huge band-aids on it. Y'all, this is just to appease him. Because since he wants to be extra, I'm being extra. So his foot is all banded up. Like a damn cast. And he's walking around, limping around. So he's taking a nap now. All that crying and stuff. He's taking a nap. And just as something to do for my anniversary. I'm going to have my nails redone. And my um, wedding. How I had them for my wedding. So I did it. Uh, Lilic. Lil Y'all know I can't even pronounce shit. What is it called? Lilac Opal. Old school girl. Old school. Um, and then they're going to do glitter. Tina or Tom. So let me show you what I'm going to be wearing for when we go out to eat. Now I was thinking oh, I could buy a cute little sexy dress. Because I rarely wear dresses out. Um, I can count on one hand how many times I've worn dresses. When we were first dating I would wear them a lot. Because I know he liked them. But y'all I don't be wanting to dress and all that. And be cute and sexy. I could be, I could be sexy in jeans. So I got me some new stonewashed jeans. They're very cute. Something I've never, I tried something new. I'm trying something new in yellow. I don't have anything yellow. Isn't this bright? But these are the jeans. Aren't these cute? These cute, right? And um, I'm gonna wear these shoes, y'all. I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna just wear these shoes, yeah. Um, and then I got my white purse over here that I cleaned off. Can y'all see her? Can y'all see her? Oh, oh, you can see that long titty too. Excuse me, y'all. And that's my... Yeah, we got her over here getting that together. So, yes, girl. So, yeah, that is it for this vlog, you guys. Um, I don't know if I will vlog for next week. Just because I need to get a lot of stuff done. I'm so sorry, but um, I will have the Allocate Naturals. No, no, no. Main choice. I recorded that. That's coming up. And I'll do my Get Ready With Me video for Friday. And I'll really sit on Saturday. So, that'll be two videos. But vlogging... I don't know. So I'll see y'all in like two more weeks then as far as vlogging goes. All right, y'all. Bye.